Hello! This video was developed and produced by the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection to provide important information about upcoming annual spongy moth treatments planned for Western Wisconsin in 2022. On March 2, 2022, the Entomological Society of America announced a new common name, spongy moth, to replace the prior name of this insect, gypsy moth. This change was necessary because the word gypsy is an ethnic slur. Spongy moth is an invasive pest that is spreading across the state. This insect is most damaging during the caterpillar stage as it is a hefty feeder and can eat over 300 different plant species with some of its favorites being oak, aspen, basswood, apple, crab apple, and paper birch. This insect was accidentally introduced in 1869 near Boston, Massachusetts and has been spreading west and south across North America ever since. Since this insect is not native, there are very few predators that are able to keep its population numbers in check. In Wisconsin, this insect is spreading westward, with the eastern two-thirds of the state generally infested and the western third currently uninfested. Here are some examples of the damage spongy moth can do during population outbreaks. The image on the left is the defoliation of trees in 2010 in Menominee County. Notice the severe defoliation in the hardwood forest on the left side of the road and the absence of defoliation in the conifer plantation on the right side of the road. Spongy moth can also ruin landscapes and require costly treatment from landowners and businesses when populations build. Caterpillars are large and very mobile. They have hairs that can irritate the skin and often gather in mass. Spongy moth is a damaging pest in eastern states where it is well established. Here are some examples of news articles over the past six years documenting some of the issues this insect can present when populations get out of hand. The rationale for managing this insect is that slowing the spread of spongy moth will delay the onset of costly management further down the road. This is an overview of our annual treatment plans in the state. Our treatment plans are focused on spraying outlier infestations in western Wisconsin, where this insect is not yet established. For 2022, we will spray 25 sites with BTK, totaling 16,135 acres in 10 counties. These counties include Buffalo, Chippewa, Crawford, Dunn, Grant, La Crosse, Lafayette, Pepin, Rusk, and Washburn. These treatments may receive one or two applications depending on infestation severity. BTK treatments occur from mid-May to early June. BTK is made from a naturally occurring soil bacteria and is used in certified organic food production. It is non-toxic to people, bees, pets, or other animals. However, people with severe allergies may prefer to stay indoors during nearby treatment applications. In 2022, we will also spray 32 sites with a mating disruptor totaling 107,000 acres in 15 counties. These counties include Barron, Buffalo, Burnett, Chippewa, Dunn, Eau Claire, Grant, Lafayette, Pepin, Rusk, Sawyer, Trempolo, Vernon, and Washburn. These treatments consist of one application and occur from late June to mid-July. Mating Disruptor is an organic, small, waxy droplet infused with female spongy moth pheromone. When an area is treated, the scent of the female moth floods the area and confuses male spongy moths so they cannot find females. This is effective because the spongy moths are at the end of their life cycle and die without reproducing. The easiest way to review treatment sites is the interactive web map viewer located at this web address. This link is also on the DATCAP website at datcap.wi.gov. You can also contact DATCAP directly. Contact information is provided at the end of this presentation. 
Timelines of Spongy Moth Management Spongy moth management is comprised of two elements, trapping and treatment, both of which are tied closely to the life cycle and biology of the insect. Spongy moth eggs are laid in late summer and remain as eggs throughout the winter and early spring. In Wisconsin, eggs hatch in late April, early May. Shortly after eggs hatch, BTK treatments are applied. This usually occurs in mid-May through early June. BTK treatments are most effective when the caterpillars are small. Caterpillars feed and grow throughout June and July, reaching 2 inches in length. A single caterpillar can consume a square meter of tree leaves in the course of its lifetime. In Wisconsin, caterpillars pupate beginning in late June. This is when mating disruptor treatments are applied. Traps are placed beginning in May, so they are in place when adults emerge in early July and males begin to fly, seeking females to reproduce. Traps remain up and catching moths throughout the summer and are taken down in late summer and early fall. Spongy moth traps are placed every year across western Wisconsin to determine where isolated outlier populations exist. These populations are targeted for treatment in the following year. Traps only catch adult male moths as females do not fly. Females release a pheromone or a chemical scent that attracts flying males. Traps work on a similar concept as they contain a small pheromone strip that attracts the males throughout the summer. Traps are green and can be shaped like a tent or a milk carton. Traps are often placed on the side of the road or in public locations, so you may see them across the state. Product Information on BTK When an outlier population has been selected for treatment, there are two potential options. The first is BTK. The active component of BTK is a naturally occurring soil bacterium, Bacillus thuringiensis, variation Kerstaki. This bacteria interferes with the digestive system of small spongy moth caterpillars. This product is environmentally friendly and used in areas known for dense populations of spongy moth. The product we will be using is called 4A48B, produced by Valent Biosciences. It is a registered organic product with the Organic Materials Review Institute, or OMRI. This product has been regularly used for decades in Wisconsin and across the U.S. for spongy moth control programs. Product information on mating disruption. The second spongy moth treatment option is a mating disruptor. This strategy involves treating an area with spongy moth pheromone to inhibit the male moth's ability to locate females. This product is non-toxic and inhibits their ability to reproduce. This treatment strategy is only successful in low-density populations along the leading edge of the expanding range of spongy moth. This treatment is applied as small, waxy droplets embedded with spongy moth pheromone. The product is biodegradable and slowly releases the pheromone for two months after application. The trade name of the product used is SPLAT, Gypsy Moth Organic, and it is produced by ISCA Technologies. It is a certified organic product by the USDA's National Organic Program. Mating Disruptor has been used as a control strategy for spongy moth since the early 1990s. What to expect the day of treatment? All treatments are applied by small yellow airplanes. Treatments begin early in the morning just after sunrise due to the need for low wind and high humidity. The planes are loud and they fly very low. Although planes follow specific flight plans, pilots turn off the spray when going over areas such as open water, crop fields, or prairies. There are a variety of ways to contact us or find more information about our operations. We have a toll-free hotline number where you can talk to staff directly, leave a message, or hear a pre-recorded message on treatment plans. 
you can email us at gypsymoth at wisconsin.gov or visit the DATCAP Spongy Moth Aerial Spray website at gmarealspray.wi.gov. This website contains extensive information about Spongy Moth, our treatment program, and helpful links to other resources. Please also visit our interactive web map, which shows treatment locations across the state. Daily updates are posted by county on our DATCAP Facebook and Twitter accounts. Additionally, all addresses within or near a treatment site will receive notification by postcard with our contact information. Thank you for watching.